Okay guys, um, today I wanted to make a simple tutorial on how to do a um, kind of uh, ripped edged um, icon. Now the first thing you do is open a 100 by 100 um, image, transparent image, and you're going to click on your um, paintbrush tool and you're going to, to um, simply brush like a random pattern. So you're going to um, click make a new layer make it transparent and going to put it right under the background now you're going to um, need another image this is a, pic a small picture of myself and I'm going to copy it and then paste it in your um, icon so paste. now you're going to get this. Now we're going to um, make it a new layer and um, click alpha to selection on this layer and you're going to simply sorry you're going to um, invert it and you're going to brush it over like so. So you're going to just stay with this piece of it. Now you're going to click now since you already chose um, the background of the selection, you're going to um, go to grow and you're going to choose any any number you want. I'm going to choose um, two and you click on the new layer you made and you're going to gently brush. Oh my. Okay. I Added alpha to selection, select grow to layer, and okay. So now you have a um, border. So basically, that's how you do like a type of um, ripped edge. Not exactly, it's not exactly ripped, but you know, a very unique edged icon now when you save it you can save it as you have to save it as a GIF because if you don't save it as GIF you won't get a transparent background this is going this background here is going to fill out with white if you don't save it as GIF now you can you know edit a, t edit, um, a texture to your um, image open as layers you're going to um, find a texture you let me see let me see if I found one Let's do uh, this. Oh no, okay, I'm sorry. Um, well, this is going to go right over here. I'm going to alpha to selection. Let's invert. You're going to go to your brush tool and brush it away. Let's see. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's add alpha channel. Remember to um add alpha channel. Now you're going to um click on mode and you're going to put it to screen and you can see it um, kind of went a little bit invisible and it made it a little um, purple-ish and you can see if you zoom in a little bit that it has you know like little dots and so on the image let's um, zoom out back to 100 Okay, too small. Anyways, and um, you can add more if you want, like another another um texture. Let's layers. This one. Going to alpha to selection already. I'm going to erase it. 
you can also put, put this to um, screen mode screen and you can see it gives it a like a light effect and if you want you can um, change the light effect by clicking on the flip tool and you can click vertically it's going to change see <laughs> remember to make it click on this anyways it's not going I'm sorry <laughs> it's not working but anyways here we have your um let's say ripped um, edge unique edge type of icon now while remember like I said before when you save it remember to save it as a GIF because if you don't save it as a GIF it it won't have a um, transparent background and remember when this um, export file box pops up remember to um, click merge visible layers don't save it as an animation okay it's now we're going to open here's my icon I originally came up with this idea of um, watching a another tutorial on how to do this type of icon but on for um, Photoshop and it's you know easy to do on GIMP but I wanted to make a um, GIMP a one for GIMP you know for the ones who don't exactly know how to convert a um, Photoshop tutorial for the GIMP one anyways that was the tutorial it was it took longer than i thought it would and i made a few mistakes here and there but it's okay i'm human if one makes mistakes anyways um there will be new videos soon soon once i learn more things next next time i might do a um how to do a light beam effect on gimp and um i'm learning how to do that now and soon enough the video will be uploaded now um thank you for watching i hope this tutorial helped and if you want, show me your results. I would love to um, see some of your results. Thank you.